Florida Governor DeSantis Executive Order 20-69 of March 20th, 2020, due to the current state of emergency throughout the state of Florida, given the outbreak of the novel coronavirus COVID-19. In order to mitigate the transmission of the virus and reduce risk of COVID-19 illness, we have been advised and directed by the state to suspend public gatherings and as such, the governor's executive order 20-69 suspends the requirement of the Sunshine Law to have all meetings in a specific public place and to require a quorum to be present in person. The governor's order, which you can find posted on the city's website, allows public bodies to utilize communications media technology to conduct its business. For this meeting, the city council is con convening by WebEx with video and telephone conferencing conference capabilities as posted on the city's website, which identifies how the public may join and participate if they wish. City Clerk, would you please provide additional information regarding the conduct of our meetings? City Clerk? Please note that this meeting is being recorded. And that some attendees are participating by video conference. Participants are advised that people may be listening who do not provide comment, and those persons are not required to identify themselves. Accordingly, please be aware that other attendees may be able to see you. Anything that you broadcast may be captured by the recording and will become a part of the public record. All the materials for this meeting are posted on the city's website with the agenda. The materials may be found by visiting the city's website's homepage and selecting agendas and minutes link and the corresponding pages to the meeting date. Additional ground rules for effective and clear conduct of our business and to ensure accurate meeting minutes are as follows. The mayor will introduce each item and speaker on the agenda at the appropriate time. After the speaker concludes their remarks, the city clerk will go down the line of council members, inviting each by name to provide any comments or questions. Please hold your comments until your name is called. For any response, please wait until the mayor yields the floor to you. State your name before speaking. For items with public comment or public hearing and during the courtesy of public comment segment of the agenda, we will entertain such comments in accordance with the process and information posted on the city's website under COVID-19 public meetings, which may be found on the city clerk's page located under the department's link. Partici participants may visit this page to submit an electronic comment card 24 hours prior to the meeting. Participants may also initiate a comment at the appropriate time by engaging the electronic option of raising their hand and being acknowledged by the city clerk. Further, for all participants, council members, staff, and the public, please remember to speak clearly and in a way that helps generate accurate minutes. Mayor? Yes. Thank you. Um, city clerk, please take the roll now, please. Councilman O'Connor. Present. I said present. Councilwoman Crump. Present. Councilman Paul. Present. Vice Mayor Long Robinson. Present. Mayor Manning. Present. Okay, I will have a pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag, to the flag of the United States, United States of, America, of America and to the and Republic, to the Republic, to the Republic for, for which it stands, stands one, nation, one nation, under God, 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 God indivisible, with liberty, liberty and justice, justice for all. For all. Oh. Well, that was kind of difficult. <laughs> <laughs> we made it, though. Okay. Yeah. Um, tonight we're going to be just doing a workshop, and uh, this time I'm going to turn it over to uh, City Manager, Mr. Castle. 
Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I want to thank the city clerk for her efforts and set up the appropriate notices published and to ensure the system will function. Reutilizing the WebEx platform, as the mayor said before, and will be going forward. As the mayor stated, we'll be utilizing the communications media technology that is allowed in the governor's executive order 20-69. I want to thank the council and the public at large for understanding the necessity to do a workshop slash test meeting so we may ensure to minimize any issues for our May 11th council meeting. The May 11th meeting will have a number of items on them that we need to keep moving forward for the development processes. During this time, it takes all of us working together to do what was commonplace not so long ago. These difficult and uncharted times with this pandemic make each issues each day bring new issues and opportunities to find new solutions together. And I thank you, Mr. Mayor, for that time frame. Mayor, if you would please repeat yourself. Okay, um, we'll move on to the uh, staff of the city, also with the city manager. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, one of the things I wanted to put out was there's a number of items that just may or may not be out for the public or the public may not be aware of. And uh, this is a overview of what we've done within Westlake to assist reduction of community spread of this pandemic within Westlake and the county. On March 30th, the city council passed a state of emergency proclamation. They also at that meeting passed emergency ordinance 20 dash 2020-03 regarding electronic meetings in accordances with the governor's applicable executive orders. With the governor's order, executive order 2668 occurred, I personally delivered to each business within the city a copy and discussed the social distancing issues and the separation in the restaurants. For the city hall, we've closed the office to public except by appointment only. We have a minimum staff at the office and other staff departments are working remotely. We worked with Minto on the initial social distancing and eventual closing of the amenity center before it was in order from the county. The building department is still doing inspections and utilizing electronic approvals to minimize the contacts between contractors and the inspectors. We're holding department head meetings weekly by conference call to ensure applications are still being processed in a timely manner. We set up a COVID-19 section on the city's website to provide the latest information to the residents. We will continue to post the latest information to the county from the county, state, and FEMA as it becomes available on the city's website. We're also starting a city Facebook page provide additional information regarding the COVID-19 as well. We have for the past 33 days participated in the daily EOC calls with the county and the other 38 municipal emergency managers. This is in order to receive and provide information for a unified county-wide response. The calls at the county EOC include the county administrator, Virginia Baker, health department leader, Dr. Alonzo, County Emergency Operations Manager, Bill, League of Cities Director, Executive, PBSO, and Palm Beach County Fire, as well as the rest of the emergency managers from the 38 municipalities. We will continue to support social distancing, stay safe, stay at home messaging, as well as utilization of face coverings as outlined in the latest county's order. That's all I have at this time as far as what we're doing. We're moving forward and we'll continue to move the city as safe as possible. Thank you. Uh, I'll enter entertain any council or comments or questions at this time. Did everyone hear that? Yes, this is Councilwoman Crump. Okay. I just want to thank city staff, 
Ken, Pam, for all your hard work, and especially Zoe, I want to thank you for arranging this WebEx meeting and all of your updates. Um, and I also want to welcome the new council members as well. And that's all I have. Yeah. Councilman O'Connor? Yeah, I'll just take a quick moment to thank everybody and let everyone know how absolutely privileged I feel you know, to be here, uh, to be representing you know, Simpsons and Wesley. I look forward to working with everyone. And uh, I know this is a brave new world that we're living in right now, but you know we'll get through it, we'll get through it together, and we'll be stronger afterwards. So again, I just look forward to working with everyone and hope you get to work. Great, thank you. Thank you. Councilman Paul. Yes, hello. I'm just humbled and honored to be on the city council and look forward to working with everyone. And hopefully we get together soon and address some of the issues. And that's about all I have for the day. Thank you. Vice Mayor Long Robinson. Uh, good evening to Councilman O'Connor and Councilman Paul. I look forward to working with the two of you um, for your upcoming term. Uh, a couple of suggestions I have. Hopefully, I hope everyone is staying safe, uh, safer at home with our new orders that are in place. Um, uh, the first week in April or the last week of March 31st, I received a call um, from the Western Community Council that we just we did not have any um, council participation in those meetings. So, um, City Manager Castle, if I can make the recommendation, please to inform all council members um, of that meeting. They don't, of course, have to talk, but um, if we can inform the council members of that meeting. Um, as well as give an update. I know the last one we were on, uh, we did not give an update that J&J &J Produce is actually in Westlake uh, for the Western community to take advantage of. Um, also council on that meeting, they were looking, uh, Seminole Ridge um, is handing out devices and they were looking for a hub to possibly hand devices out for students who may need them. I did volunteer Westlake as being one of those uh, areas that they could pick up devices if need be. Um, on March 27th, uh, Christ Fellowship provided lunch, to, well, sorry, provided breakfast to the staff at our urgent care, which we have a total of six. Uh, we have a total of 10 fire rescue, and we have one to two patrolmen 24-7. Um, if anyone on the council would like to provide something for those first responders who are working in Westlake, I would encourage uh, maybe one of you to, to do that. I, got, I was able to get a partnership with Christ Fellowship, but the numbers aren't a lot. So if one of the council members would like to take on that task, maybe uh, next week, or the week after that may be that may be good. And then um, city manager, if possible, on that Western Community Council meeting on Thursday, if we could introduce the new council to that group, we did. We also did not provide uh, that update. And Mayor Manning, if um, I spoke with council on this, uh, Pam said if if you can't go. To this we can email one another. We just have to CC staff that um, I can fill in for you on days that you can't be on the call. Yeah, I was on the last meeting. I heard you. Yeah, I heard you. So if I won't jump on this one, but um, you know, if whenever you can get on, I will. I'll fill in for you. That okay. Thank I you. Have to, yeah, that's all I have to say. Okay. There's no further comment. Um, I also want to thank staff for doing a, a fantastic job of covering the uh, um, what's going on. Ken's daily, daily and uh, twice daily reports. Um, I appreciate it. And uh, do we have any other comments from the council? 
I wasn't clear. She said, "Divide what, what devices they're given out? Laptops or computers? Or what is it they're given out at at Seminole Ridge? What are those devices?" Because they provided laptops, and the school is providing the laptop. So the devices I'm speaking of, yes, are laptops. So if a parent calls and says that their child is in need of a laptop. They will coordinate with Dr. Campbell as well as whoever the instructional superintendent is for that area and set up a time um, to pick it up from possibly the office and the city hall, current city hall in Westlake. Okay. If, uh, <clears throat> if I may real quick, um, uh, Vice Mayor Long Robinson, I absolutely love the idea of providing you know, something, dinner, whatever to uh, first responders. Actually, when this whole thing first started, I went and I dropped off 14 steaks at Fire Station 22. Wonderful. A whole bunch of hand sanitizers, um, not, with my, uh, not with my campaign logo on them, just hand sanitizers. And sure. I, I love that idea. I think it's great. Um, yeah. yeah, I think it would be good, especially there on the front line. So we can make sure, of course, you know, we are appreciating them constantly. I think it, it would be just a, a wonderful thing for you know us to do. 100, absolutely. I have a, one further thing, just business-wise. Um, I have a, a budgetary concern for the future here. If we could uh, put together a amended budget, or if we need to amend the budget, from here to the end of the year. Uh, I'd like to see that. And also uh, any kind of budget projections, how that's gonna project out into the next couple of years here. Um, this is gonna affect everybody financially and the, the city is not immune to that. Um, so um, if we could work on, uh, Mr. Castle, work on a budget so that we have some sort of idea of where we might be headed down the road here uh, from a financial side. We're looking at it, and the accounting department is already looking at it. I will be working through it and then be able to present to you what I believe to the council uh, would be the financial impacts. Uh, will we have that ready by the next our next meeting? I should be able to have initial impacts by the May meeting, yes. Okay. I think that's going to be very important for us looking forward to the future where we have the... Uh, plans to do something with a city hall and uh, and the land with Mr. Carter and um, and also some sort of uh, and, uh, and a budget for that. So um, I, I just like to see how we're going to make that happen in, in a couple of years here, within the next couple of years. All right, for a whole Understood. Okay. It's, I believe you have the floor now, Mr. Castle. I have no additional comments at this time. Okay, thank you. And then we'll move on to the city attorney, Mrs. Book, Ms. Booker. Um, I don't have any additional comments or changes. We continue to work with staff, as Candace said, in uh, process applications in this new environment, as well as a couple of video training sessions with the new council members testing out new technology. Uh, we'll continue to do that as we go forward for the upcoming meetings as well uh, to make sure this works for everyone involved. Thank you. Um, Zoe, do we have any public comment? Yes. C Councilman O'Connor, did you have another comment? Nope. I'm good. Okay. Okay. I do not have any additional public comment cards, nor do I see any um, electronic hands. Okay. All right. Um, as, uh, if no one else has anything further, then we can uh, adjourn the meeting. And thank every. I want to thank everyone for uh, using this new technology. It's um. I'm, I'm. This is not usually my thing, but I. I kind of like it. Works okay. Um. And uh, if there's nothing else, we'll see you uh, again on, on May 11th at the same time, 6.30.
uh, we'll adjourn the meeting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Meeting adjourned at 6.52. Thanks, everyone.